Hi, I'm Jeff Poole with iCar. And I'm Scott Caboose with iCar. Welcome to today's Just In Time video. We're gonna take a look at some different clamps and tools that can be used during structural repairs. So one of the coolest tools that I found is this little guy here. Yeah, I've never used that before. I hadn't either. So okay. it was new to both of us, which yep. made it kind of fun. The downside is it does require that you drill a hole in the panel. So if you're throwing away a rear body panel or something like that, you drill a hole, you put these two together, you sandwich the panel in here. And then you can put this on and do a straight pull. You can adapt it into the arm here. A lot of different ways you can configure that. And I just found it to be really versatile. Yep. And then there's a smaller version of the same thing here. So what do you got? Definitely came in pretty handy. So I think one of my favorites that uh, maybe goes back a few years, but it's a handy tool. This essentially is a uh, pulley block, if you will, for a chain. And what it allows me to do is connect this end of my ram and then loop a chain through here and then hook it up to two clamps. And it self-equalizes as right. you start to pull. Uh, of course, in some cases, depending if one clamp's on something that's tougher to pull than the other, you'll start to see that happen. But it allows to balance out that force quite a bit. So, I remember uh, seeing that years ago in an iCar course and thinking what a great tool it was. At the time I was a technician, I couldn't find one. Yeah. So it was kind of neat to be here now and uh, able to use that. And it worked great yep. at equalizing the force on those two clamps. Yeah. I really like that. Um, another cool tool. So I've had the larger version of this for years mm -hmm. and used it a lot, but I hadn't really never knew they made a small one. Yeah. And for stress relieving, doing some small damage repair inside like aprons and strut towers, things like that, worked great. Lots of different adapters. So round ones, flat ones, kind of. Yeah, and the precision of that over swinging a hammer especially in awkward locations, yeah, certainly helps out. And you can stay away from the chains farther. That's why right. I like the big ones. Yep. I'm not getting in there with a hammer right next to the chains and worried that something's gonna let loose. I can stay a few feet away. Yeah, Yeah. the, uh, the slide sleds, the larger ones, uh, they'll give you a workout. Uh, <laughs> but uh, again, definitely better than climbing up underneath the frame machine and being up there real up close and personal whenever you're trying to stress relieve something and a variety of different feet or ends that can go on the slide sledges. Not all of them are here, but there's a few of them there mm -hmm. that can adapt right on, whether it's the shorter one or the longer one with the extension that we've got. Mm -hmm. And then one of the most versatile tools that I've used over my career is this guy here, where we can reconfigure this on the bar. We can use them individually. We can use the 90 degree adapters. So I can pull this laterally, linearly, lots of different directions. And you had mentioned earlier the importance of understanding where you want to place that adapter. Yeah, so as we take a look at the, uh, the ability to adjust the relationship of this angle pulling bracket to the jaws, and depending on where you've got that chain, where you've got the, uh, the angle pulling bracket on that clamp, that's going to then take an effect. How's that clamp want to roll as you take and you start to pull on it? Is it going to pull in line with the T? Is it going to want to roll up? especially if you're down here on the lower portion of that. So again, something to keep in mind as you're using that, but very versatile. Where we actually had three of these lined up on a panel and we put a bar through here and then we pulled on the bar. Yeah, that was kind of neat to do nice. that. Yep. And another neat thing with uh, this clamp here is it gave us the ability to pull in line this way by pinning yep. it that way. Yep. Or we could turn it 90 degrees, pull it this way, yep. flip it up, pull it this way. Another very universal, adjustable tool. Uh, gave us a lot of different options. Yep, and a different version of that with just a sill hook on it if you want to go around a rear body panel or something like that, and it uh, comes in very handy. Um, but throughout pulling all these vehicles, we had our hands full, let's admit it. Yeah, and there were times where we had to get creative, and uh, you can never have enough pulling bars like this, and uh, many folks have uh, different pieces of steel that they've used and drilled or uh, professionally created ones that are available for purchase, but uh, you know th those come in so handy. Uh, the ones with the uh, chains on the end of them, like uh, our chain in the middle where you got the pulling plates on the end there, they come in very handy for adapting into different places. Um, different rigging attachments, whether it's clevises or the uh, D-rings and things like that, uh, seems like you can never have enough of those. Now, we, we always were looking for 
something just a little different, something with a little more space. Yep. And we even got the machine shop out a couple of times and made some. Yeah, there were a couple opportunities there. Uh, one thing I will say, and I think uh, most of us as technicians have probably run into this at some point in time or another, but uh, be respectful of your hardware. Uh, there's nothing more frustrating than going and pulling a clamp off of the uh, board and the threads are messed up on the fastener or whatever it happens to be. So be respectful and take care of your hardware and your clamps and things so that uh, they're productive for you. Same thing with the teeth and the jaws. Some of these are replaceable. So you can loosen these, take this out. You can buy new jaws for these. If they're broken, wore out, you can replace those. Uh, also, just a nice little pick for cleaning them out. Uh, getting that in here, being able to clean out seam sealer and gunk, whatever we end up with. Keep doing that. I want that to be clean for the next time I use oh, it. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye, everybody.